have to read by PragerU Kids. Crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making a classic quill pen from a feather to learn about and honor how America's Declaration of Independence and our Constitution were written. Oh, we've got a question. Are the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution the same thing? This might be one of the most important questions we've ever had. The Declaration of Independence and the Constitution are two different documents that are very important to America. One of them created the United States, and the other one made all the rules. Now, while you think about which one might be which, here's what you'll need for our craft. Large, real feathers as tall as you can get them. These are turkey feathers, and they're about 12 inches tall. I found them online. Ink in a bottle. I found this online, too. A marker. Tweezers. Some paper. And a pair of scissors. Promise me you'll ask for a grown-up's help when it comes time for the scissors. Deal? Deal. Before we get started making our old-fashioned quill pen, a fun fact. The word pen actually comes from the Latin word penna, which means feather. And if you don't yet know, a quill is a main wing or tail feather of a bird. Many of the world's most important historical documents were written with quill pens made from the feathers of birds. Ready for the first step? Take a feather and trim a bit of the sides near where you'll be holding it to write to give yourself a better grip on your future pen. See? So now, look at the feather and hold it so that it's curving and pointing downward, just like this. Next, make a dot with your marker to mark the spot where the point of the pen will be. So, did you think about how the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution are different from each other? You want me to tell you? Okay, here we go. The Declaration of Independence can be thought of as our nation's birth certificate, the day the United States was born. In 1776, it announced to the world that the 13 colonies would no longer be ruled under Great Britain and that God, our creator, made all men equal and worthy of freedom. Founding father and America's third president, Thomas Jefferson, wrote the first draft of the Declaration with a quill pen. Congress debated and changed it a bit and then voted for it. 56 people signed it. Congress adopted the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776. Now, as for the Constitution, well, it's America's rule book. Just like every sport has written rules, so does our American government. The Constitution describes our three branches of government, executive, legislative, and judicial. The Constitution protects our rights by limiting the power of government over the people. America's fourth president, James Madison, is often called the father of the Constitution because he played an important role in writing it with a quill pen. Between May and September 1787, 55 men attended the Constitutional Convention to discuss and approve America's soon-to-be rules. It was signed by 39 people and adopted on September 17, 1787. You got all that? Good. Let's finish making our quill pen here. Okay, so remember that dot we made? Now it's time to ask a grown-up for help because what they're going to do is take the scissors and carefully cut the end of the quill at a slant less than 45 degrees, like this. I suddenly feel like Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> Next, take the tweezers and we're going to clean out the inside of this feather because this is where the ink goes. Ta-da! Super easy, super fun. And this is how Thomas Jefferson and James Madison wrote our founding documents. You wanna try writing with it? Take your ink. Do we think it's gonna work? Take your ink, be very careful. I'm gonna write, we the people. It works! 
We the people. Yes! <laughs> it's actually a little bit difficult to write like this, but this is how America's most important documents were created. Did you know there were only six people who signed both the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution? Benjamin Franklin was one of them. Now, what are some things that our Declaration of Independence and Constitution have in common? Well, they're both printed on parchment, made of animal skins. Both were signed in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in the building that is now called Independence Hall. And both are considered some of the most important documents about freedom ever written in all of history. This is so easy, and to think that America's founding fathers created our country using quill pens. We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. Who, <laughs> Who wants to make more pens? <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.